Ladies and gentlemen, I got a call yesterday. An individual was in town, and they wanted to meet with me that I know well, and they are a high-level manager in the TSA. And I went and met with them and had a cup of coffee with them. And they said, you got to warn people. Tuesday, we got called in, the managers, and told that by the middle of September, that the new policy is being written, that this is done. They were told this is happening. This is not hypothetical. You will all have to wear masks again, and so will airport employees. Then, by the middle of October, they are going to say that everyone flying has to wear a mask. And in the meetings, people began to ask them, well, I mean, why is this happening? They said, well, because of the new variant in Canada and because of the WHO, they may you know, declare this. But regardless, we've been told this is going to happen. This is mail number two. I got to get my games up, man. Yeah, yeah. I got to get my games yeah, up. Yeah, nah, this blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, banana in, man. And the protein shit. Yeah, we yeah. Shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakadash. Hey, double honor to the apostle and the elders, great millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing this world in true sincerity. This is Tazadak from the gym, Miss Los Angeles camp coming back with you, coming back with you with a post workout video. All right, real quick one. All right, so the clip that you've seen was Alice Jones. You know, sometimes his, his information is not accurate. But there were times his information be on point. Okay? So you got this new <clears throat> you got this new variant over there in Canada, which is spreading, which is true. Okay. And um now they're saying that they're gonna mandate the mask again over here. You know what happens in other countries always comes down here. As you can see through the history, what happened prior in 2019 with the vid, okay? And um now you have hurricanes in California that have never been in California ever, all right? And, you know, hurricane season always bring what? That moisture, right? That humidity after it's done. So what brings that humidity? Mosquitoes. Now, mind you, I think a year ago, towards the spring, Bill Gates created um, millions of mosquitoes to be dumped in Florida for what? I don't know for something to fight against something else but um but you know mosquitoes they migrate okay they go from uh, basically down in the south and then goes to the people because they carry infectious diseases which bill created okay and so what that do it opens the door for that that new vid that's coming out with other various diseases for what in order to what mandate what the jab okay so why are they doing this because esau edom is the wicked okay this is how they think all right so let's get with the first scripture man all right so this is um let's get it out real quick this is um second corinthians Two verse eleven, and it reads, "Lest Satan should gain an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." So, who's the embodiment of Satan on this earth? Is the so-called white man Esau Edom? Okay, that's the embodiment of Satan on this earth. Okay, 
that he should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. So what do ignorant means? It means lacking knowledge. So we do not lack knowledge of what our enemies are doing. Okay? All right? So he bringing that device um, with called climate control. All right? This man is, <laughs> through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmashai, this man is doing whatever he wants for now. What? To fulfill prophecy in order to what? For he can get that new world order, man. For he get complete, complete control of the people. All right? This is how this man think, man. Okay? So right now he rolling out that new variant and people got to wear them damn masks again, man. All right? It go, there will be another lockdown. I'm not sure if this information is accurate, but it's going to be there. All right, it might it, not, it may not be October, it might be December, it might not be November, it might be September. So it happens, you know what I'm saying? But the information is out. We already know World Health Organization has complete control of these disasters now, along with FEMA. Come on, you gotta put two and two together, all right? Now let's get with the next scripture. This is Revelation 12 chapter. All right. You see how things are speeding up, right? It's speeding up for the elect's sake, man. And Lord willing, we're the hopeful elect, man, all right? So, but remember, this man only has but a short time, okay? You got to understand, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the elites of them, they, they be planning these things, man, for, for years, centuries, man, to have complete control of that whole earth, man, okay? And, and of the people, all right? As you can see, that man, there's a lot. So this is Revelation 12. Verse 12, right? And it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants. Woe means destruction, okay? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. So who, who inhabits the earth? The people. But who's the landlord of this earth? The so-called white man Esau Edom. This earth is, is under his complete management right now. As you can see the results, you have a hurricane coming into California for the first time in history. <laughs> That's when you know everything's all fucked up, but it's all according to plan, all right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and in the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. So I explained to you who's the embodiment of Satan. The devil, right here, devil means deceiver. So who's the top liar of this planet? Esau, Edom. Okay, the so-called white man, though. The Caucasian race, man. All right. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. So right now, our enemies at wit's end because they know the Lord is returning. Okay. And they trying to get what? They trying to install that new world order, man. So he going to come down with great wrath to a point that you're going to have to take this jab. Okay. Basically, he's trying to merge man and machine together, man. Along with his smart cities, his 15-minute cities that he's creating. Okay? All right, so here we go. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So people going to understand. People going to say, what do you mean he has a short time? Short time for what? Easy, for his new world order. Let me, let me get that. This is Job, the fifth chapter, verse 12. All right? Job, the fifth chapter, verse 12. All right, follow me, man. All right, and it reads, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So, you you wondering what it says, He disappointed the devices. Who's that? He It's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord gonna send His Son over here to destroy America, man. All right, and to have complete control of the earth and put and, and put these nations into captivity, man. Okay. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. What's that enterprise? The new world order. Okay? All right? Who's the crafty? It's talking about you so-called white people, Esau, Edom, the council of the wicked, the Illuminati, the, the, the banking families. All right? Their whole goal is to get everybody jabbed. And then right next to that, you know what leads to? The MOTB. Which these, which you can't need to be speaking about more, okay? Why? Because prophecy is fulfilling right in front of our faces, man. All right. So who knows what this hurricane can do? It's gonna open more doors 
to take you people rights away even though you never had any rights here in in america man okay so let's get let's get with the last scripture no you know what let me get micah real quick real quick let me get micah all right micah this is why i proved what i was saying earlier that the that the our enemies be planning these things even when they sleep all right so this is micah 2 verse 1 woe to them that devise iniquity woe means destruction to them that devise when you devise something that means you're creating something you're you're preparing and you're um or you having a structure being built you're you got plans all right that devise iniquity what does iniquity mean sin upon sin all right that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in a power in their hand who gave him that power? The Lord. Okay? The Lord gave him that power. It's as simple as that. Let me, you know what? Let me get that too. All right? It should be Daniel, the fourth chapter, I believe. Verse 17. All right? This is how you get down. This is how you read the scriptures, man. All right? Daniel 4, verse 17. Like I, like I read earlier. Because the power is in their hand. Who gave him that power? I'm going to answer to you. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones. To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. The Most High rules everything. He controls everything. All right. And giveth it to the whomsoever he will. And setteth up over it the basis of men. Who's the basis of men right now? The so-called white man. He's the, the bottom nation of all people here on this earth. So who's running the earth? The wicked, the basis of men. All right, we're going to get with the last script. All right, this is Psalm 64 chapter. All right. Okay, I got to head back, right? 64 verse 1. All right. Let's, you know, let's start at, let's start at verse 2. Psalm 64 verse 2. Hide me from the, from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of the iniquity. So... There's a prayer to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to cover us and hide us from the workers of iniquity. Who's the workers of the iniquity? The Illuminati, the elites, the banking families. Okay? The so called white man. All right? Who wet their tongue like a sword. So, what's the what's the, the secret weapon of the so called white man? It's his mouth, his tongue. He loves to lie, man. He got everybody believing that he's the guide, he's in the right, he will take care of you. He will clothe you, okay? He got you believing these other philosophies, witchcraft, and etc. Instead of believing in the true power, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, their lies, okay? Even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Who's the perfect? That's talking about the elect. This is a whole search and try to kill off the elect, which is impossible. Because Israel is the sand in the sea. We are the four corners of the earth. All right. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? And they laying snares privily. This is a trap. They set in, a, they set in for the people. They set in against, these, against the people, man. This trap. The jab to get everybody jabbed. To merge everybody within this system, man. And it's going to end with the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast. Karagma. It's going to have a chip in your goddamn hand, man. All right? So, you know, I just want to do a quick video on this post-workout. Hope your brothers stay prayed up and your sisters were edified too. Brothers and sisters were edified to then another video. Shalom.